Franken Tune Franken Tune Studio Hello and welcome. This is Enrique from Franken Tune Studio. I'm gonna give you a quick demo of our Grindhouse broadcast kit for Affinity Photo. You can also use these templates in Affinity Designer. The mechanics are super simple. It's just a template where you swap out the default image, this one here, for any photo or artwork of your choice. And all the effects are applied automatically. So without further ado, let's dive in. We're going to start by double clicking this thumbnail layer. This one right here. That will open a new embedded document in a separate window. This is where we'll drop our image. I'm going to use the Affinity Stock panel to find something. If yours isn't open, get a window stuck. You can use either Pexels or Pixabay. I already searched for skate, so let's pick one of these images. I'll drag and drop this one here into the embedded file. Just wait a moment while it loads. Alright, now I'll place and position the image however I like. Once I'm happy with it, I'll close the embedded tab. And boom, the effects are applied instantly. It now looks like it's playing on an old CRT screen. Let's break down the layer structure. It's straightforward. You can toggle the visibility of these layers to adjust the final look. For instance, I can turn off this TV layer, which adds an analog RGB grid. This layer uses a mix of procedural and image-based textures, and everything is fully scalable, so you can resize your document freely. Here's what it looks like without the effects. Just a raw image. Then we have the Y2K distort layer, which pixelates the image slightly. A slight blur to mimic that analog softness. And a distortion layer that adds retro style scan lines. There's also an RGB screen effect cut out using Affinity's procedural texture filter. Then we have the chroma tone layer which adds cinematic coloring and a bit of chromatic aberration. Think better cam, but even more degraded. You can turn all these effects on and off, or just lower their opacity, if you want lighter touch. Let's try with another image. It's fun and easy. Just double click the image layer again and drag in a new photo to see how it looks with a grindhouse effect. One thing to note, this template isn't locked to a fixed canvas size. Since we are using procedural textures, everything is scalable. If you want to match the canvas size to your image, open the transform panel to check the dimensions. This one here is 3896 by 5651 pixels. So let's resize the canvas. I'll keep the width similar and adjust the height to 5651. Hit OK, fit the image, then close the embedded tab. Now just resize your document to match the new proportions. And voila! Everything still works 
perfectly. All the effects remain intact because they are all scalable. Let's throw in one more image, just for fun. This one looks interesting. Even though it's smaller, it's, it will still work fine for demo purposes. Drop it in, close the tab, and done. We can tweak the effects again, like adjusting the chromatic aberration or distortion. And that's how this first template works. Now let's move on to template 2, labeled GBKB. Let's open it up. As you can see, it comes with a different default image. It looks more degraded, as it has more age and damage to it. You can even spot some distortions in the text area here. So let's give this one a try. I'll run a new search. This time for something scary. Uh, this one looks properly terrifying. I'll use that. This template has more going on, so I'll expand the layers panel. As usual, just double-click the indicated thumbnail layer to open the embedded document. I'll drag this creepy image by Andrea Piacuario. Sorry, Andrea, if I'm butchered that name. I'll add all image credits in the description below. Looks pretty spooky already, so I'll close the embedded file, and here we go. Effects applied instantly again. You'll notice this version includes lens flares, light leaks, and this horizontal distortion lines that look like VHS tracking or all security cam footage. There's a neutralizer layer on top that evens out the color balance. You can toggle leaks, tape 88, which adds color bleed, warm vision for film aging, on the RGB scan lines. These are made with procedural textures for a more authentic look. Then we've got turbo vision, which adds chromatic aberration and track shift, which brings in image distortion. Check out the artifact layers. This creates those analog tracking lines. You can turn them on and off, or go from mild to wild, depending on how messed up you want the image to look. Let's reactivate some of the effects. Maybe bring in the light leaks, turn tape 88 back on, and layer in the neutralizer. Looks amazing. Really gives off that creepy analog vibe. Let's try one more, something even creepier. Double click the image layer again. This one looks like a zombie or some haunted character. Let's use that. Dragging it in, close the embedded tab, and what? That looks incredible. You can fine tune the horizontal distortion too. Just double click this display layer, I'll zoom in and adjust the distortion value. Setting it to 1, no, to 6. Now to 8. See how the lines shift more drastically 
Okay, back to one for subtlety. This template had a blast to use. Whether you're making a poster for a music band, YouTube thumbnail, album cover, or just goofing around, these effects give your artwork a unique grindhouse flair. And the best part, it's all super simple and fun. Just drag, drop, tweak some layers, and done. So if you were expecting something super complex, sorry to disappoint, but hey, sometimes simple is better. Choose between a mild CRT effect or a more aggressive BHS beta cam style vibe and you're good to go. If you'd like to give your artwork that gritty analog touch, you can grab the Grindhouse Broadcast Kit over at frankentinistudio.com. It's available now with two fully editable templates, packed with procedural effects and ready to plow your artwork right into the BHS era madness. Check it out and have fun experimenting. Thanks for watching. Franken two Franken two Franken two Franken two Franken two